I call this photo aftermath because the picture here was taken three days after a horrible tragedy here at, at Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma. You've probably heard about this by now. Uh, in case you haven't, several people lost their lives and 10 times that many were injured by a car that crashed into a crowd of spectators at our annual homecoming parade. It's the kind of event that shocks a community and you don't think that's the kind of thing that could never happen here. It's not the kind of thing you even think about happening in the first place. Nowhere in your daily mental processes does it even occur to you that a car could crash into a crowd of spectators at the homecoming parade. And it's been a, a, a singular event in our community, and it, we've all sort of had to deal with it, and, and the families have learned to, uh, I wouldn't even say learn, the families are still struggling to, to grieve the loss of their loved ones, and there's people that are hurt who are still recovering. It's, it's going to be with this town and this campus for a really long time, and as the days went on, I'm recording this on uh, October 28th, so a few days after it actually happened. But it's not; it's being posted here about a month later on Weekly 50 uh, because of the way these posts are scheduled. And as the days went on, uh, two questions have emerged. Why did this happen, and how can we move forward after this? And we may never really know why. Uh, initially, a lot of people thought the driver of the car was drunk. Well, we know she wasn't. And uh, there's possible mental illness involved. She may have been suicidal. We don't know. And maybe at the time that this is actually posted online, we'll have more answers. But the why is it, it only brings so much closure, if any at all. And to me, the, the, the more important question is, what do we do now? And that's a hard one to answer. Uh, partially, it's illustrated by these two girls on campus. This photo here was taken the Tuesday after the events, and sitting in the corner of this campus garden were these two girls studying. It was about 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. Campus is really quiet that day. It was much different than it normally is, and these two girls were doing what college students do. They were talking. They were going over notes. You can see the one has a notepad in her hand, and they were generally going about their lives as best they could. Now, they're smiling in this photo, but you got to keep in mind, nobody was smiling on campus that day and in the days after. They're only smiling here because I I politely asked if I could take their photo, and so that kind of shifted the dynamic a bit. I didn't want to be a, a weirdo sneaking up onto these girls and trying to take their pictures surreptitiously. That I, I don't do that normally, and that seemed especially wrong given the circumstances. So I asked if they could, if I could take their picture, and they said yes. I had two coworkers with me, and they vouched for me. They said, yeah, it's, it's for his blog. It, he's totally legit. And just asking them if I could take their photo altered the scene. But still, you get an idea of a, sort of a return to normalcy, if you can even call it that. And eventually it will be normal. This is our new normal here. And – you 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 have to do what you have to do and so here I, I call this aftermath because this is this is the aftermath of this tragedy is these two girls finding a way to return to life as normal and that's what we have to do i took one single photo i didn't do like a burst mode or anything i literally just snapped the shutter once i said thank you and i went back to walking 2 days ago this photo wouldn't have happened no one would. No one was smiling in the events after this, and I, I certainly wouldn't have wanted to just go around taking pictures of people mourning this tragedy. But a little time has passed, and now, at, at the time I took this, people were learning to smile again. And the lesson here, it, it's it's not a photography lesson. In fact, I'm not even qualified to speak about a lesson because I, I who am I? I'm just a guy with a blog. But what I take away from this experience is. This is part of life, is rebuilding after things fall apart.